Hi, welcome back to InterQ channel. Today we will review the third question of the first C++ test from InterQ.com website. As always, we recommend to visit InterQ.com website. Take the first free test, then come back and watch this video. Let's get started. At the beginning of the code, we have class A. It has a default constructor that initializes its data member, the structure that prints the data member, and the protected data member itself. Next, we have class B, which is publicly derived from A. Besides having class A as its base, class B has also two data members of class A. The constructor of the class B initializes these data members. The first data member is initialized to the value of integer data member derived from class A plus one. The second data member is initialized to the value provided as an argument to the constructor B. The structure of the class B prints the integer data member derived from class A, then decrements the value of that member. In the main function, object B of class B is defined. The constructor of class B is called to create the object B. Then the destructor of object B is called to destroy the object since the scope of object B ends immediately after the definition. In order to figure out the output of this program, we need to understand the order of destructor calls for the object B. The general rule is that destructors are called in reverse order of constructors. Now let's see what is the order of constructor calls when object B is created. Then we can find the order of destructors by reversing the order of constructors. As we have already seen, class B has a single base class and two data members. When the constructor of class B is called to create the object B, it automatically calls base class constructor. Then the constructors of its data members in the order they are defined in the class, and then it executes the body of the constructor. Note that there is no explicit call to the base class constructor. Compiler automatically generates a call to the default constructor of the base class as the first call in the constructor of class B. So, once again, the order of constructor calls is base class constructor, first data member constructor, second data member constructor, then the body of the constructor of derived class. This means the order of destructor calls for object B is the following the body of the destructor of class B. Destructor of the second data member, destructor of the first data member, and then destructor of the base class A. Note that inside the body of class B destructor, the value of data member derived from class A is decremented after it is printed. Since the base class destructor operates on the same object, it prints already decremented value of the data member. So we completed the review of one more C question from interq.com website. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos.